Pentagon chooses Australian firm to build hypersonic test aircraft. The U.S. Department of Defense selected Hypersonics Launch Systems, an Australian aerospace company, to develop a high-speed aircraft that can test hypersonic technologies. The aircraft will support a defense innovation unit program called Hypersony and High Cadence Airborne Testing Capabilities, or HICAT. The organization, which works to push technology from non-traditional companies to military users, is partnering with the Defense Department Test Resource Management Center and the Director of Hypersonics to help alleviate strain on government test infrastructure. Commercial companies are forging ahead towards reusable and low-cost test vehicles. Ryan Weed, a program manager in DIU Space Portfolio, said in a March 16 statement, the HICAT project represents a paradigm shift in viewing the hypersonic realm as a place for aircraft, not just missiles and weapons. DIU gave no value for the contract. Hypersonics did not immediately respond to a request for details. The military services are pursuing about 70 programs aimed at developing aircraft and weapons that can travel at hypersonic speeds or faster than Mach 5. Testing infrastructure has been a limiting factor in the technology development process, with many programs conducting only a few trials each year. The Pentagon plans to increase that cadence and eventually fly at least one test per week, and HICAT is part of that strategy. The aircraft developed by Hypersonics dubbed dart -E, will test high-speed platforms, components, sensors, and communications and control systems, according to the company dart -E is powered by a hydrogen-fueled scramjet engine and can fly at speeds up to Mach 7. The aircraft is scheduled to fly for the first time in early 2024, and HICAT testing is expected to begin in the next 12 to 18 months. DIU announced a second HICAT award this week with California-based Phoenix Space. The company builds a reusable tow launch system that the agency expects will improve the efficiency and affordability of high-cadence test flights. Neither DIU nor Phoenix provided details on the value of the contract. The data and analyzes resulting from these prototype tests will accelerate the evaluation of potential weapon system concepts, technologies, and mission sets, DIU said. Along with the initial HICAT awards, the agency said it expects to issue more contracts in the coming months for advanced materials to support prototype tests. Thanks for watching.